Yo what's up beautiful people of YouTube welcome back to Dom's Media Zone. In today's video I'm going to compare the sound quality between two microphones one being the Rode Go 2 wireless and one being the Rode Go lavalier microphone attached to my shirt right now. So I was curious if there's a big difference between using the lavalier microphone and using the Rode Go 2 on its own and we're going to find out today if there's a huge difference and which one sounds better. I'm going to do two comparisons one is going to be unedited audio straight from the microphones themselves and the second one is going to be audio that I've put through a video processing software and I've edited the sound to make it sound better. So I'm going to do a comparison of both of those and let's see how they sound. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so currently you are listening to me on the Rode Go Lavalier microphone. This is what it sounds like on the Canon 90D camera. So this is the Rode Go Lavalier microphone attached to my shirt right here. You can pick up this microphone for around 50 pounds on Amazon and this is what it sounds like. This is the Rode Go Lav microphone attached to my shirt going straight into the Canon 90D camera. Now I'm going to switch over to the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone and let's hear what that sounds like. Now we've switched over to the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone and the sound is straight from the microphone itself into the Canon camera. I'm not going to edit the sound in post-processing so this is what it sounds like unedited in post-processing. So let me know what you think. Is it better than the Lavalier microphone that you've heard a second ago or is it not? One thing to point out is that this Rode Go 2 wireless microphone comes with two of these and they are a bit bulky when you attach it to your shirt but honestly it doesn't bother me but it might bother some people. This microphone here will set you back around 270 pounds for the whole system so you get two of these and the receiver that you connect to the camera and then it's wireless. It can go up to 200 meters with line of sight so you can be really far away from the camera and the sound quality will not suffer as long as you're in the line of sight of the camera. So how does this sound? Does it sound better than the Rode Go Lavalier microphone? There's a huge price difference in these two so let me know if there's a considerable quality difference as well. Now once again we're going back to the Rode Go Lavalier microphone right now. Okay and once again we're back with the Rode Go Lavalier microphone attached to my shirt. So this is the comparison to the Rode Go 2 wireless that you've heard just a moment ago and you be the judge let me know what it sounds like which one sounds better which one do you prefer i have a pretty good suspicions that i'm going to prefer the rode go 2 wireless microphone on its own and not the lavalier mic but i could be very wrong so that's why i'm doing the sound test right now so once again this is the rode go lavalier microphone that you're listening to me on right now okay one more time we're going to jump over to the rode go 2 wireless microphone right now and we're back one more time with the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone attached to my shirt over here and I'm recording straight into the Canon camera and this sound is unedited by post-processing software. So this is what it sounds like, unedited. This is what my voice sounds compared to the Lavalier microphone that you've heard just a moment ago. And for our next test, what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump back to the Rode Go Lavalier microphone, but I am going to edit the sound in post-processing to try and make it sound a little bit better. So the next sound you hear is the Rode Go 2 Lav microphone that has been edited. And we're switching over to that right now. All right, now that you've heard the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone again, this is the Rode Go Lavalier microphone with the sound edited so I have improved the sound quality in the video processing software and this is what the sound is like improved in post processing so this is the Rode Go 2 Lavalier with the sound slightly improved in video processing so let me know what it sounds like is it much better than the sound without the video processing or is it worse now we're going to jump over to the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone with the sound enhanced in post processing and we're back with the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone and the sound is being edited so this is what it sounds like after it's been edited with post-processing software and I've tried to improve it as much as I could and this is what the sound came out sounding like so is there a huge difference now does this mic sound much better than the Lavalier or does it sound better than this mic unedited or does it sound better edited I don't know that's why I'm doing this test because I'm curious to find out which one will sound the best and one more time we're jumping back to the Rode Go 2 Lavalier edited sound right now. Okay and once again we're back with the Rode Go Lavalier microphone with the sound enhanced in post processing. So you be the judge what sounds better the Rode Go 2 wireless or the Rode Go Lavalier microphone. There's a significant price difference in the two but the wireless one has a huge advantage in that you can walk around anywhere and it will still record your sound anywhere you go. 
and for the last time we're jumping into the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone edited sound right now. Okay, and for the last time we're on the Rode Go 2 wireless microphone, the sound has been edited and this is what it sounds like at its best quality. You can say that I can get it too. This is what it sounds like. Is it pretty good? Is it worth the money? You let me know. To be honest, my opinion, I love this microphone. I do not regret for one second buying this microphone. It's amazing. It makes my life a whole lot easier while making these YouTube videos. And that concludes our test for today and thank you for watching. I hope this helps you out. I hope you learned something and I hope it helps you make Make a good decision when it comes to buying a microphone. If you did like this video, do consider subscribing to my channel and do give me a thumbs up so that I know you did like this video so I can carry on making videos like this in the future. So thanks for watching, stay safe and goodbye.